Welcome to the Big Slice Music Show here on That's Manchester TV. Please get in touch with the show. Hashtag That's TV at Slice Music Show on Twitter. This evening I'm in North East Manchester on my own stomping ground, old stomping ground. I'm at the Nelson Tavern. I'm here with Phil McArdle and I'm here with Ian Bratby. Welcome to the show, guys. Hey, it's great to be here. Thanks for having us. Well, we're always here. You're not. Yeah. <laughs> That's not always true, Ian. Come on. No, no, no. I mean, you are in spirit. I mean, the reason oh. we're here is to talk about kind of something you started uh, four years ago is the Northern Social, which oh, yeah. is a real musician's retreat, isn't it? Well, that's it, yeah. Um, we, we found that a lot of uh, uh, open mic nights around town, it's always around any any major city centre as well, that um, they, it, it, it's very clicky and it's all about you know supporting their own friends and all that jive and we've been in and out of bands uh, all our lives and we just we just love musicians and and there's so many nice people out there nice musicians that just <laughs> if you want to make it in this industry you've got to be ruthless sometimes and there's so many people out there that are so talented but they're nice people and they'll never get anywhere just because of how nice they are yeah and we wanted a platform for them and um, we wanted to make something where it, we called it Northern Social because we wanted it a social gathering. So uh, anybody, anybody from any walk of life, don't matter how old they are, you know what kind of genre of music they're into, they can get together and have somewhere where they can get together and yeah. actually speak about. Because uh, if you got the veterans, you know from the sixties, we've had some people mm. uh, that were session musicians from the sixties, they can come down and then these newcomers on the scene. And they can have a chat with them and find out where they can do this and yeah. like learn new techniques yeah. and and they'll get inspiration from here there and everywhere but yeah. we wanted to a, a place where they can actually chat to each other yeah. rather than what we find in a lot of other places is they just turn up and do their own thing yeah. and then they sod off yeah and we're going no no we encourage people to stick around and we introduce them yeah but i mean it's what you do as a, as a as a as an event, what you do for the Northern Social, you champion open mic, so everyone gets an opportunity to come on. It's a real mix, isn't it, of people getting up on the cajon and taking taking part, but the crowd participate as well. But at the end of the evening, you have a real crowd participation, but then you have a real kind of a bit of a, a masterclass from more established artists, don't you? Well, that's it. Yeah, right. At the, right towards the end of the night, we we kind of it, it turned into a, a jam sesh. But not like your average jam chest because it'd be usually the, the the people that we know that are um, you know uh, experienced and 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 they can pull it off. So yeah, it is. We get everybody involved. Yeah. There'd be bass players, cajon, do you know what I mean harmonica, mm. and and then it does turn into yeah. that sort of thing. And then yeah. it, you know it's covers at the end of yeah. the night and everybody's yeah. yeah singing the red off. And that's what we want about it because yeah. music at the end of the day makes you feel something. You get goose pimples. Why? Because it, it, it creates a physical reaction in you. Yeah. I mean, Phil, you're a musician, you're in OK Broken, you're in Last Race Home, Absolutely. two great bands. Um, what? How important are events like this? There's the open mic, but then it's really got a masterclass to kind of put your stamp of authority as to kind of where you are as an established artist in Manchester. I think it's really important because it, it gives you the chance to own your craft and, and you come down and you, you put yourself against these other massive artists that are also really good at what they do and then acoustic acts that are, that are meant at what they do, which is totally different to what we do. You know, acoustic acts that's their yeah. that's their stuff you know what i mean they're good at that we're good at sort of live performances big live performances so to own it down to an acoustic act it's, it's hard work for us but then to see how they do it and, and take that on ourselves it's good isn't it and then everyone getting up with you you know random people getting up getting on the cajon jumping on backing vocals with you it's all it's a good community thing you know what i mean we, we just have a laugh here we, yeah. we've been to as as my band okay broken we've been to over open mic nights and it's like you turn up there, it's dead clicking, no one really wants to speak to you and yeah. you kind of get up and you do your 30 minute, 20 minute slot and then you're off and you're out the door, yeah. you know what I mean? Whereas this, it's like, we try and make it that comfortable vibe where we're all good mates, we all have a beer together, we all have a laugh, mm. get involved with each other's tunes and it, it's, it's, yeah. it's meant, it works. I mean, it's, it's, I, I mean, cause you just played the Ritz, you absolutely smashed the Ritz, yeah. great, great yeah. turnout for, for OK Broken, you're part of this as, as kind of one of the organisers of, of Northern Social, how important is it to kind of test bed new music at places like this, the smaller places? Oh, it's a massive, that, that's a massive stepping stone in your, in your, your thing because you write new tunes and it's all right writing and playing them in your rehearsal studio and thinking, yeah, this is a mint tune. But you don't know how it's coming across to people. So before we get to the likes of the Ritz and, and stuff like that and the O2 Academies, the, you need to come to places like this and, and put it out there Showcase and see, see what people yeah. are like. And you might have four or five new tunes. Yeah. 
and you try four or five new tunes, you might only get onto two of them, so you <laughs> you get rid of the rest. Do you know what I mean? And that's it. Or you you just put them to one side, so you made them made them right. Do you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? So it's, that's that's why we use yeah. we use this, and that's what we encourage people yeah, to exactly. do. Isn't it? As a as a solo artist, you can sit in your bedroom and think this is the bee's knees. Mm. You get out there and sing it, and 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 nobody you ain't got a reaction. You know what I mean, and then that's that's where you come. From. As a band, at least you can, you know, all all four or five or six. You get a feel for how it good is, it's yeah. going to be. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. be forty, all seventeen of you. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You've got an opinion. We but, haven't got seventeen, yeah. mate. So that's the only problem. <laughs> yeah. Let us know before. But yeah, it, it, yeah, showcasing your tunes and seeing how they go down is is a major part of it. And and it, everybody that comes to these sort of nights knows what we're going on about, and um, they'll encourage those artists. Yeah. You know. Mention my name, Burke, please. Burke, there we go. Manchester TV, there we go, sunshine. So, so, I mean, with regards to kind of what we're doing, I mean, you know, Twisted Dolls come here, King Cartel, OK Bro, can I play tonight? How important is it to bring in them sort of names of the Northern Social? Oh, it's absolutely wicked that we get those kind of acts, acts down, obviously, but um, they're the bonuses. Do you know what I mean? Our, our bread and butter, uh, the unsigned, the unknowns, the guys that are just... Um, you know, the, the, when you do an open mic night, sometimes, yeah, people, when they turn up, you never know what they're going to be like. Mm. But we've been that lucky in that regard that the majority of people that we've had on uh, will be the people that will make something yeah. in their life. Yeah. You know, I don't want to drop any names, but, you know, it, people that started off with us, if their very first gig was with us, and now they're touring Europe. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And, 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 and they had no confidence at that point. Yeah. You we to, we stood by. So you encourage support and promote that through the Northern Social. Yeah, you have to take that step and start it somewhere, and, it, and this is a good stepping point because you, you'll get no bad criticism here. You know what I mean? People will always help you along your way. If if, if there's something, not necessarily us, because we don't necessarily know best, but there might be another artist that might think you could do with doing this on this. Song. You know the pitfalls of what yeah, works and what doesn't. You're gonna get it. You're gonna get that help off people. Yeah. You know. And it, it will help you along the way, definitely. There's no airs and graces about this this yeah. place and this jam night. It's it's a total try everything goal. out. Yeah, and it's it's just let's enjoy it and together, you know, it's it's a good so, good night. Should we give people a bit of a treat about what the Northern Social's about? Yeah. Yeah, yeah let's do it. Okay, this is the Northern Social this Sunday. It's a jungle out there, you know, and you feel it. Oh so well Oh so well In a cat crash waiting to die I'm not feeling no oh, so well Oh so Thank you. 
feel it deep inside But you cannot fight it And you feel it deep inside But you can't rewind it And you feel it deep inside But you can't not hide it No, you can't Welcome back to the Big Slice Music Show here on That's Manchester TV. I'm still in the Northern Social at the Nelson Tavern in North East Manchester. If you don't know the Nelson Tavern, it's, uh, it was home of the birth of the Stone Roses getting back together again, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and we heard the story that yeah, it was, um, well, Manny's 
uh, stepdad. He's a, a regular here. He lives right up the road. And yeah, sadly he lost he lost his mother. And, and this is the story that I know. Don't give, don't take it as gospel, oh, cool. but yeah. Um, yeah, I think they, they got together for the funeral. They all turned up for the funeral, and that's when they had the conversation. But yeah, yeah. I'm not in the Stone Roses, so you're not. No, I got told I mean, you was before. Bradley, this. But it's <laughs> it's not Ian Brown. Times, didn't they? They shit, didn't they, well, yeah, yeah. They said uh, they definitely need somebody to uh, bring some sort of sex appeal to the Stone Roses. I but. can see why. Why? <laughs> Ash, like you? No, no. Sorry, mate. Sorry, mate. I love you, but so I mean, kind of moving forward. I mean. North Manchester, North East Manchester has been responsible for, for producing some great bands over the years, you know, and it's only right that it's kind of got the Northern Soldier kind of continued championing new music in this area, though, isn't it? Yeah, oh, oh definitely. Manchester has always been the birth ground. I don't know what it is. I just think, uh, you know, maybe it's the, it's the weather and, and, and the love. The of really people. bad weather. Yeah, it keeps you in tide and you've got, you got to hone some sort of talent. You've got to, put, you've got to, you've got to hone someone in somewhere, haven't you? Yeah. So, yeah, I just, just people just seem to pick up a guitar oh. and, and start writing melodies. It is a home of the melody makers, though, isn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah, and it just churns and churns and churns them out. But you, uh, because it's got that reputation as well, it draws people in from all over the country. Yeah. They go, I've got to go to Manchester if I think, if I'm serious about making it. Yeah. And great yeah you know, bring them bring them to us but yeah. because the talent that we've had on here it's from from all over the world sometimes joe as roscoe, well what's joe roscoe like yeah. he's oh, unbelievable yeah. isn't he? he's malta's like number one yeah singer songwriter isn't he? he's yeah, just, exactly yeah. Yeah. you come down to it and just blew the place apart didn't he yeah. Yeah. so i mean like you know you're a singer songwriter you're a designer you're, you're event organized along with phil and, and dennis farage who i know obviously he's one of the producers of our show <laughs> but so i mean kind of if I can come to you, Phil, you kind of you look at music, you look at kind of the, the part of Manchester they're in. It's been renowned uh, for producing some great musicians, some great bands over the years. Is there an added pressure to kind of to push your music forward that little bit more in this side of Manchester and in general? I don't think there's a pressure. I think there's a bit of an expectation that you have to be good because the the, the people before you have been great. But that's up yeah, to you. Yeah, measured then. against them. Yeah, but that's up to you then to make good enough music that, that you're proud of and that you know people will latch on to and mm -hmm. I think we I think we're doing well on, on this, the sort of scale of that but it's, it helps with, with doing stuff like this do you know what I mean you've, yeah. you've got to go along your way and, and make that path you don't just jump from one place to the next do you know what I mean we, course, yeah. you, you've got to make that path and do it yourself and you can't really look at the people that have been before you because they've been before you they've done it that, that, that's it that's yeah. their that's, that's their it. game in it. Every you know. time a successful band comes out, then next minute there's a, there's a million bands that sound exactly yeah, like. Yeah, there's a million bands yeah. waiting. But this is this is for you, you know, well, exactly waiting after it. you to to, oh. to jump back. If as soon as you drop, they're waiting to jump into your space. Do you know what I mean? So you've mm -hmm. there's a pressure there where you've got to you've got to be on your A game constantly, and it, you've you've got to keep pushing forward. It, if you don't, there's, there's a next band waiting. You know? So is the is the a circuit in Manchester is place? I think this is definitely on the the map with regard to kind of, you have to come here and play. I think they're a difficult crowd, but a pleasing crowd. I think people are very receptive. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but yeah, I think they, ex so. they expect some really good music and they get that all the time yeah. at Northern Social, yeah. don't yeah. they? That's it, eh, mate. You're right in, in saying that they, they do really expect something amazing each time. And I think it's because we're a bit spoiled. Yeah. Because there is so much talent out there. But like I say, we've, we've been so lucky at the artists that we've, we've had on. That they are, they are the trailblazers. Do you know what I mean? And and we, we we never say you've got to be a certain genre. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Even though we say it's acoustic, we've had um, uh, rappers on. Do you beat know what I mean? And, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's fantastic. You know, there will be a guitar involved yeah. at some point, but then other people, you know, they play yeah. the piano and yeah, absolutely fantastic. Yeah, we love it. So it's not just in the, in the Nelson, is it? It's the other side of Manchester as well. You do. Oh yeah. Well, well the, the thing is, this is why we started it anyway, because like I say, the city centres, uh, they're inundated with them. Um, there's, a, there's an open mic every night of the week, one next door, one after that. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, we, we said there's nothing, there's nothing in like the suburbs. Mm -hmm. So that's why we said, well, why don't we do it? Now, around where we're from to start with, yeah. but yeah, we're doing it all over now. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, but it's always in the suburbs because we said, well, yeah. stay out of the city centres because it, like you say, you've got, you've, you've got your pick in the yeah. city centre. It's overwhelmed with it, isn't it? There's, there's a lot of people, it's saturated in the city yeah. centre, isn't it? And, yeah. There's only so many times you can go out and, all right, seeing him at such and such a place and seeing them at such and such a place. And whereas ours, it's 
it's different in it you know you, yeah. you you come out to watch this and if you don't if you just come yeah. to the boozer your local boozer we're here anyway you know what yeah, i mean exactly. so, you, so you're watching but, it yeah but it's like you, you might stay in on a saturday night and go oh i love the x factor or, oh this guy's brilliant and he might be singing you know some sort of indie songs and yeah. and, and they go oh we love this and he's sitting at home you yeah. go two minutes up the road from you yeah. there's a guy exactly you know even better than that yeah. person yeah that is he's doing it so I mean, if you could give any advice, you guys are seasoned musicians. You you know you work in design for working with bands in design. You're into a band yourself, Phil. Could you have any advice to new buddy musicians that are kind of watching the show tonight? What sort of advice would you give them, and kind of what sense of direction would you give them? Yeah, never stop, never ever stop. There's been so time, so many times when um, artists have just give up because they, they they haven't been received that well um, in in any situation. And and but the best music comes from those saddened soul most of the time do you know what i mean um and 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 people get it people will get it eventually yeah. you've got Never to find your up. market aren't you, what you about you not, phil you might not be so you might come to this and they might not be your the crowd might not be your cup of tea and they might not jump onto you but you've got to find that market where you fit in you'll you will fit in somewhere so yeah you have to keep going until you find where you fit in and then that's your place and you know and, and once you've done that that's the sky's your limit in it yeah, you can yeah. keep going and just yeah. There is, work there is a lad. Yeah. So where's the best place of, to find what they're doing? If people want to play or people are coming and enjoy one of your nights? Where's the best place yeah. to come? No, to find you on social oh, media. Uh, sorry, to, to find us. Oh, you yeah, know where yeah, we yeah. are. We're at the, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're the yeah. Nelson Tavern <laughs> in Failsworth. So yeah. if people want to kind of come along and play, try some of their new material oh, yeah. out. Get on Facebook. Uh, and what about uh, music lovers who just want to come along and enjoy the night? Where's the best place to kind of get in touch? Yeah, definitely get on. Just follow us on Facebook. It's our Northern Social. Yeah. And... Um, you yeah, getting get in touch with us. Second it, Thursday. Yeah, every yeah it's fortnightly in, in Eccles. Um, but it, yeah, it, it, even if you're a musician or, or you're just a, a fan of music, get in touch with us anyway because yeah. we just we, we like to know about the support that's yeah. out there because yeah. the, the way that we built this up is through our contacts anyway. Yeah, you know we've got contacts here, there, and everywhere, and 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 that's how we promote the musicians yeah. after after they've played. It's not just about playing here mm. and getting the exposure. It's what we do for him afterwards. Yeah. Well, Phil McCardle from OK Broken, Last Race Home. Thank you yeah. very much. Ian Bratbury, hey, thank, thank you. you very much for coming along this evening. Uh, good luck with the rest of the evening. We're going to see some more music and have a good bite, I think, aren't we? Yeah. Oh, yes. That's what it's all about. This has been the Big Slice Music Show on That Smash the TV. Phil McCardle, Ian Bratbury, Absolute Legends. See you soon. <laughs>